Hey everyone, Wiggles here. In this video, I'm gonna go over several different groupings for the classes in Black Desert to help you understand which class you wanna play. There are a ton of different classes in the game. 27 since the release of the Scholar. On top of that, there's typically a succession or an awakening form to choose from for each class, except for the Archer, the Shy, and the Scholar, which those three use both weapons in their kit no matter what. That leaves us with 51 different specs to choose from. That being said, I hope you find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel to show your support. Anything goes a long way to help YouTube know that this video is helpful so it could be shown to more people like yourself. I'll be sure to release more Black Desert Online videos that you'll enjoy as well. Alright, let's just get right into it. So for the first grouping, I always like to start off with the most controversial, the meta machines. So meta definitely changes over time, but there has been some clear winners over the years. Since there's two big pillars in this game, PvE and PvP, I'll separate the meta into those two groups. So first up, we have meta and PvE. These are the classes that shine in end game grinding zones, they have significant damage and can easily sustain themselves in some of the hardest areas. Not only sustain, but they can grind very effectively. So this would be classes like the Guardian, the Striker, the Megu, the Berserker, the Lawn, Dark Knight, Valkyrie, Nova, the Archer, Warrior, the Awakening Dracania, and the Musa. I just released a top 10 PvE classes video that goes into this in a bit more depth, so check that video out. I'll leave that video at the end of this one. Next up is the meta in PvP. These are the classes that excel in various forms of PvP. You definitely want to be thinking twice before you decide to engage on one of these classes, as they can have a lot of punishing skills in their toolkit to not only outmaneuver you, but also to take an edge in the player versus player combat. So this would be classes like the Succession Ninja, the Awakening Musa, both forms of the Sorceress, Awakening Valkyrie, Succession Kunoichi, Awakening Lawn, Awakening Berserker, the Hashishin, the Awakening Wizard, the Awakening Dracania, and the Succession Witch. Next up is my favorite category, the Speedy Soldiers. These are the quicker classes, they're able to dash around and jump around really fast, or perform some very quick attacks on their enemies while being able to use their movement to their advantage. So this would be classes like the Musa, the Mewa, the Ninja, the Kanoichi, the Warrior, the Berserker, the Lawn, Ranger, Tamer, Hashishin, the Archer, Dracania, the Wusa, Megu, and Corsair. Next up comes the Hard Hitters. These are the classes that may feel a bit slower, but they hit insanely hard. These classes aren't a bad idea for beginners to main since they don't typically have a high action per minute. But don't let this grouping fool you. Playing these classes can destroy their enemies quicker than you may think. This would be the classes like the Scholar, the Guardian, the Dark Knight, the Nova, Succession Dracania, Awakening Valkyrie, and the Lawn. The next grouping is the AoE Exploders. This grouping is similar to the Hard Hitters, but these are the classes that emphasize on area of effects to eliminate all their foes, and they have a ton of different options to do so. So starting off this list would be Megu. Next up is Wusa, then the Wizard, Witch, the Sage, Scholar, the Musa, Mewa, Guardian, Lawn, Dark Knight, Nova, Ranger, Archer, Sorceress, Berserker, and the Corsair. So moving on to the Combo Kings. These classes have a ton of utility and possible damage combos, and they can easily mix and match their kit to overwhelm their enemies. These classes can be a bit trickier to play, but once mastered, these classes can roll just about anyone. It doesn't have to be PvP specific. Some of these Combo Kings can excel in taking down mobs or even bosses. So starting off this list, we'll go to Striker and their counterpart, the Mystic, the Ninja, the Kanoichi, Hashishin, Wizard, the Witch, Wusa, Dark Knight, the Warrior, Megu, Awakening Nova, the Tamer, Sorceress, and the Awakening Dracania. The next category is the Ranged Assassins. These are the classes that deal insane amounts of damage from afar. These classes can get blown up quite fast if someone jumps on you, but if these classes can keep their distance, they'll create destruction everywhere they go. Starting off this grouping goes to the Archer, and of course the Ranger, the Witch, Wizard, Sage, Sorceress, Awakening Corsair, Megu, and Wusa. This next category is called the Stellar Supports. People love having stellar supports on their side. These characters can all support your allies in various different ways. The healing supports 
are the Shy, the Witch, and the Wizard. You can also heal a tiny bit with the Valkyrie, but not nearly as much as those other three. As for the tanks, Valkyrie's definitely in here. Then you got your Succession Warrior, Succession Guardian, and Succession Nova. You can also support your team by disrupting your enemies, and a great class for that is the Corsair, the Berserker, the Tamer, Megu, and the Scholar. The Scholar also has some pretty great utility buffs for you and your allies. Also, Drakani has a pretty good team buff as well, but you have to spec into it into your skill enhancements. But yeah, there's various other ways you're able to buff yourself and your allies as well. So for this next category, this is only going off the hexagon at the start. When you click around on these classes, you'll notice that this hexagon changes by quite a bit. And this is just focusing on one of the five groups for the hexagon. So the classes with the best evasion according to the hexagon are the ninja, kanoichi, and the ranger. And the classes with the best attack are also the ninja, the kanoichi, the musa, dark knight, lawn, berserker, the wizard, witch, meiwa, guardian, dracania, and the megu. Now the characters with the best defense according to the hexagon are the berserker, the valkyrie, and the nova with both the Warrior and the Guardian almost making this list. Next up, these are the classes with the most control according to the Hexagon. This would go to the Sorceress, the Striker, Ninja, Kunoichi, and the Hashishin. Lastly, the classes with the highest combo is the Ninja, the Kunoichi, Tamer, Striker, Mystic, Sorceress, and the Corsair. This next grouping is specifically for the Arena of Solaire. This is a snapshot of the best classes in Arena of Solaire right now. I looked at all the current standings in the leaderboard. I added all the entries together and got an average from that, which gives this list. So these are all the classes that are dominating the space right now. And even though I didn't include a succession or awakening form, there is typically one of those forms for each of these classes that does end up being the better choice of the two. But I'm not including those forms because even though awakening Dracania does seem to be the better form, there still are people high in the leaderboard as a succession Dracania. So that being said, the first one in this list is the Trucania. Next up is the Ninja. Next we have the Nova, the Warrior, Guardian, Berserker, Megu, the Striker, Musa, Valkyrie, Dark Knight, Wusa. And even though the Shy wasn't very, very high in the standings of the leaderboard, they dominated Arena of Solaire in the tournaments, showing almost every group had a Shy on their team. So I wanted to include them in this list. So in this last section, this goes over all the classes in a big poll with hundreds of different votes in each of the categories. Starting off with everyone's list for the best 1v1 PvP. This goes to Ninja, Sorceress, Ranger, Megu, Lon, Berserker, Dracania, Tamer, Hashishin, and the Warrior. The next group of classes in the poll are the best PvE endgame classes. This goes to the classes like Megu, the Wusa, the Berserker, Lon, Guardian, Ranger, Musa, Striker, Sorceress, and Dracania. Next up is the best AoE grinder. This also goes to Megu and Wusa, Berserker, Ranger, Guardian, Witch, Lon, Sorceress, Scholar, Musa, and the Wizard. Now moving on to the best small scale PvP. This goes to the Megu, the Sorceress, Ranger, Berserker, Musa, Kanoichi, Ninja, Lon, Dracania, and the Valkyrie. Now moving on to the best large scale PvP. This goes to the Valkyrie, the Wusa, the Sorceress, Witch, Dracania, Archer, Megu, Wizard, Ranger, and the Berserker. In the same poll, they had a grouping for the most fun to play class. A lot of people said Megu. There's also a surprising amount of people that said Scholar. Then we have the Sorceress, Ranger, Lon, Berserker, Wusa, Ninja, Dracania, Shy, and the Corsair. I'll add my personal favorite to this list as well. It's definitely the Valkyrie. Playing Valkyrie is really fun. Lastly, we have the easiest beginner classes to play. Megu's at the start of this list. Then we have Valkyrie, Berserker, Guardian, Shy, Lon, Ranger, The Witch, Wusa, Wizard, Scholar, and finally Sorceress. Choosing your favorite class can definitely take some time, but practicing them all out and maybe switching from your characters from standard to a trial account could be the way to start. This has puts you into level 60, puts you in a battle arena so you can test out your skills and see if you like the class. 
But the more you try other classes out, the better of a chance you'll find something that you really like and that you'll stick with. Personally, I started on the Guardian and I really really loved that class, but lately I've been really enjoying the Valkyrie and the Drukania class. Again, if you did like this video, please give it a like to tell YouTube that's a good video and hopefully it can be shown to more people like yourself. If you're curious on a specific class that I mentioned or maybe didn't mention enough, check out my other class review videos. I'll put that playlist at the end of this video, but I'm getting to every class in this game and I do a nice little detailed review on them to help you understand just a little bit more about that class. I'm about halfway done right now, but I'm definitely going to get to all the classes and maybe give a little bit of an update on some of these classes, like the Megu. My Megu video is very short, so I'm definitely gonna make a follow-up video for that class in the future as well. Also, lastly, if you think that this list can improve, please go into the description of this video and add in what you think all the classes should be in all these categories. I created this form that you can go through, submit your answers, and in the future, I'll have some videos based on these answers. Also, as this poll progresses, I'll ask everyone in our community why they think that this class should be here, or maybe why not? So hopefully we can get better answers so I can create a better quality video for you in the future. So yeah, if you think that there should be some changes to this list, feel free to go in this forum and submit your answers. Thanks for watching this video everyone, I hope it helped you out. Comment down below what class you're going to be maining this year in Black Desert. Have a great day everyone. Cheers.